many members, yet but one body, school.
All right, thank you, Lord. Thought enough of me to leave me in it. All right, thank you. Enough to just tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. themselves the Son of God 
oppression and putting him to shame. We are not supposed to put God into shame. Mm -hmm. we, we are children of God. We should live like children of God, walk like children of God, be as children of God, so people can see God in us and not, as the saying said, and not be straddled with this. All right, amen. Anybody else? And uh, we don't supposed to hold things in our heart against other people. And uh, we can't treat everybody the same, but we can be nice to them. Uh -huh. And God hates a lot. Mm -hmm. Amen. God hates a what? A liar. A liar. Amen. Amen.
I'm going to take care of me now. Amen. 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 All right. I, I, I spent all my life trying to help everybody and trying to do for everybody and doing nothing for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. All we do for yourself. All right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Even Jesus had to every now and then walk along uh -huh. and pray. Uh -huh. Amen. So we have to start doing stuff for ourselves. Yeah. Stop worrying about what other folk think and say. Because most of those that are talking is in, in worse mess than you are. Yeah. All right. How many of us know this? Amen. If you listen to folk, you will stay miserable. You can't run my life and yours too. Uh huh. And one thing, correct me if I'm wrong. And one thing, you know, just came in my mind. Whatever, you know, I'm being unequally yoked. You got to listen to your your heart. And when people, if they can get into your heart with anything, they can put anything in your mind that will kind of eat them or. Bring them out of the, you know, out of the realm of God. So, in another thing, when you when you're unequally yoked, that shouldn't be a conversation with your so-called friends and stuff like that because that will add fuel to the fire as well, mm -hmm. and that will cause a, a bigger problem as well. So, you have to be careful who you associate yourself with and talk to because. Words of the lips will travel. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. That's why I spend most of my time alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. alone. Uh, I'm not. I'm not one for the crowd. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Not Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're alone, you can talk to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can talk to him. No, no, no disturbance. Nobody to bug you. Amen. Amen. Nothing wrong with having friends. No, it's not. Amen. But there are times you got to spend some time alone. Yes, me time. Amen. Yeah, me time. All right. Where did we stop? Love not the world. You think that I am the world, but any man love the world. The love of the Father is not in him. Don't love me. I don't like clubbing like I used to. Mm -hmm. Amen. Going out to parties. Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't even like going, going to that, how different houses for dinner. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got more than one or two people there, I'm ready to go. Yeah. All right. Amen. Hey, that devil coming. How many of us know this? He's going to show up. All right. Somebody going to say something I know that is mm -hmm. that's going to cause a problem. All right. I think, I think, you know, you best to have whatever you need at the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. I don't go to any places. All right. Amen. I don't go to any places. And then I just love Amen. Whatever I need is at the house. Mm -hmm. All right. The world, love not. The world. Mm -hmm. That's something else about that being unequally yoked. If you marry to a person that loves the nightly and you don't, mm -hmm. it brings about a problem. You marry a person that don't like to go to church, and you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That brings up. Yeah. All right. Don't make sense, man. Once we get married, we're gonna change. Mm -hmm. No way. No way. No if way. anything, it gets worse. Mm -hmm. yep. How many of us know this? All right. Yeah. 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 Anything, it, it gets it gets worse. It gets worse. That's a mistake, Pastor. That a lot of people make, especially women, because I know a lot of them. They think that. If that man go ahead and most of the time they offer him an ultimatum, 
Well, we're going to have to get married, but this ain't going to be together. And they think they're going to make that man change, but it's not. But it ain't going to be him. Make it worse. Because then he feel like he was pushed into something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, rush into nothing. Right. Rush into nothing. Mm -hmm. I've had that experience. Yeah. And none of it worked out. Mm -hmm. Alright. Amen. You look at a person and you think, well, this 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 is working quiet. And they don't they don't do a lot of running in their mouth and stuff. And then you get them. Then you run, what happened to your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What happened to all that quiet? Mm. And, 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 and my dad told me, he said, uh, he said, the quiet ones you gonna have to the quiet ones are the one you gotta worry about. Mm -hmm. The mild ones ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. All right. It's the wild. They sit there thinking. <laughs> <laughs> them children, they check you out. Uh-huh. Okay, it's a tough. Mm-hmm. Not the back. They check you out. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I'm not going to allow a woman to rule over me. Amen. That's how you're going to make it. That ain't going to work. One of us got to go. Amen. One of them got put on a dress and the other one in pants. If, if you 
you going to argue with him or you going to, sooner or later you're going to turn him off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm kind of easy to turn off. Yeah. All right. I don't know why. Maybe that's, that's a flaw, but I'm easy to turn off. Mm -hmm. You raise your voice at me. That, that won't work. If you can't talk to them, I feel I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm educated enough to speak plain mm -hmm. English, mm -hmm. not hard. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. and you'll understand. Amen. All right. If it ain't working, get out. Amen. That's the other thing. Sometimes we get into these relationships and try our best to make them work. Uh -huh. Waste most of your life in something that wasn't fulfilling. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Wasn't fulfilling. You, you're trying to make it work because you know what people are going to say. You know, uh -huh. What the heck with people? Uh -huh. You might be a baby. Uh -huh. All right. Amen. I don't even bother them, Jim. All right. But whatever they come up with, they come up with. Ain't my baby. All right. Mm -hmm. If she like it, I love it. Uh -huh. Verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. For all that is in the world, the lust of what? The flesh. The flesh desires some things. Uh -huh. If you had never been with a man or woman, then it don't bother you. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I really got it. Y'all get that up there. If you had never been with a woman, But once you drink the juice, it's over. <laughs> the body keep craving for it. Keep craving for it. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Lust. That thing you really want bad. Uh -huh. Nothing wrong with looking at that one and say, oh, she's pretty. But when you get it done, hmm. Huh? That's different every day. You, 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 you're allowed it to get inside of you. Yeah. All right. And you can see yourself with that. Mm. All right. You can undress her. Mm. Uh huh. And she still got clothes on. You can undress her. Uh huh. Huh? Mean that day. And that's called the lust. You steal from folks lust of the flesh. You know what I can ask you, okay, like, if it don't linger, like, in other words, if you don't sit there and dwell in and linger with it, or like me, I don't be around a man like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm good. You mm -hmm. know, I don't, I'll say something like, Lord, have left me. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't think like I don't feel that because I haven't been doing it Amen. for a while. But if I linger with it and I indulge in it, you know, the less you do something, the further away you get from it. Yeah. All right. The less you do. But, but you got to get to that less first. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, people don't like me about some less true. Already said. That's what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Jesus said, he's talking about adultery and fornication. He said, but I said, if you just look upon a woman, the lust in your heart, you have seen already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, that means you imagine that you're with the woman, that's what I'm talking Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I can look at a man and he can be handsome, nice looking. Mm -hmm. I love something and something and I can't, but I'm saying that's not a thing. I mean, if you love me, you desire yeah, me. Yeah, I understand. I understand. That's still a thing, too, if you, because I 
mean, it's nice looking women too. It's nice looking men. Amen. And I mean, that's not saying it. We have to be honest with ourselves. If it, if it affects you. Yeah. So you can look at it. And it's easy to tell if it affects a man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. But you can look at a woman and she's nice right woman. And you're good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're good. As long as you don't linger with it. Mm -hmm. okay. Amen. Amen. You, you, you know, uh, uh, there are plenty of women, there are, are good looking men, yeah. but you don't want everything you see anyway. No, I don't care how good it looks. Mm -hmm. How many of us know this? Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Lust of the eye. That's what happened to Eve when the devil told Eve, look at them. God said, I don't need all that forbidden fruit. Mm -hmm. Just look at it. Mm -hmm. Just look at it. Sometimes you just got to stop looking at it. Amen. There have been times in, in the book that I shut my eyes. <laughs> all right. You say, I'm fucked you. With less material. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now you gotta close your eyes. Yeah. All right. You gotta do what it takes to make it. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Amen. Because the devil will meet you at church. Uh -huh. yeah. Lust of the eyes. But you might say, if you're blind, you're the man. But we just have to pray and ask God to help. All right. Pride life. God hates pride. Yes. Mm -hmm. He hates it so much, he even hates a proud look. Right. You don't have to be proud. Just look at it. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know how some people think they're better than everybody? If I had that dress, it'd fit me better. What do you think that? Mm -hmm. Pride. Pride. Yeah. Because somebody said, let's get rid of this pride. Get rid of it. Right. There are folk who are suffering and afraid to come back because of pride. Yeah. They know they've done wrong. Amen. Mm -hmm. And before they come back and say, I'm sorry, they rather stay out there and go to hell. Living a miserable life. Then die and be in misery. Mm -hmm. See, because before you can go on, you got to get straight what you've done here. Yeah. Uh -huh. How many of us know this? Yeah. Right. You can't run from here over there and think you're going to make it. Uh -huh. You got to do your first one go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not going to allow nobody to get on my skin. Just like me. 
So, you know, my mind went back there. You have to be careful. Don't be quick to fall for anything. One of us will have had to die. <laughs> And you know you got some men that look just like women. Oh, come on. Uh -huh. Hey, I was like, come down. I know y'all, uh -huh. this uh -huh. is a commercial, it's in Spanish. And there's some women dancing. And I didn't, I don't know what the commercial was about. I still don't know how. The real reason I don't know how. It was a man dancing with them. Uh -huh. He looked at better than them. Yeah. He moved better than them. Mm -hmm. He made them look bad. Cool. I said, Lord, have mercy. I was like, ooh, it's rough. Right. <laughs> if you start the day now, you're going to be like an octopus. You're going to have to have hands everywhere. Disability and like she had 
been lying to me this whole while for since May. Mm -hmm. Like she supposed to be got paid and stuff for her job she had left. And she had me thinking they never did pay her. She got paid every month. The people had them paid her. The church had gave her money. But she had been back to the same church twice and her boss was her pastor. Mm -hmm. But she wanted me to believe that she wasn't getting no money, wasn't nobody helping her. Cause she wanted me to keep being a duck. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but after I seen she wasn't trying to do nothing for herself or help herself. Like I told her, you might be sick and you might need disability, but it's stuff you can do to have an income. Mm -hmm. She would lie to her 21 year old son. He laying around the house waiting on people money, mm -hmm. waiting on other people to get in the house. So I just kind of told her what I felt about it and I cut it loose. Mm -hmm. But I found out stuff. I'm not mad. You know, whatever I did for her, that she can use it. It's under water on the bridge. Uh -huh. But I'm not mad and I mean whenever she do find a call me, I'm just gonna let her know that, you know, where I'm trying to go and where you trying to go, it look like it's two different places. So yeah. you know, I just mm -hmm. but I just all the time and the energy and money too. <laughs> you all know, right. it's just thank you for your friend. Mm -hmm. And all the time, you just somebody they use until they can find somebody else to use. Listen. You know? I have this stuff. People will use you mm -hmm. until they get your last dime. And then they'll move on to somebody else. Uh -huh. Well, I, to that I say, move on before you get my last dime. Uh -huh. Amen. I will only help you so far. Yeah. If you got to show me you're trying to help yourself. Because people like that going to pull you down. They pull you down. Yeah. Have you sleeping in the street? I'm too old for that. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm too old to be sitting in the street. Uh -huh. Amen. The one thing I do is pay my bill. Uh -huh. I'll help you if I can, but if I got bill money, swell code is going to get down.
great. Any house with no rules is not a home anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why they want rules in the church. We don't, we don't need no rules. When the son of man set free, free indeed, yeah. Okay, go on out there in the Mississippi River and go down to the Bible.
say you're a Christian, if you say you love Jesus, there are folks who want to kill you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anti Christ becomes also these like Satan worker, you know. Mm -hmm. The real worker of Satan. Mm -hmm. Because he's against Christ. He's against Christ, that's right. If, you know, if, if you're against Christ, you is a Satan worker. If you're against Christ. Mm -hmm. But he's the ultimate of all. He, he wants to close the church door. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Or he can pay taxes. Amen. Yeah. He wants to close it. Not only does he want to close, but he wants to come in and take over. All right. Anybody that don't know their place is an antichrist. Uh huh. I'll say that again. Anybody that don't know their place is an antichrist. All right. Because if you've been born again, God called you and God chose you. You have to know your place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because God is not the author of God. <clears throat> and if you are causing confusion, it's not Christ. All right. Anything that's working against Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Churches have been torn up and torn down uh -huh. because of Antichrist. Uh -huh. People we let do what they want because they're kin to us. Uh -huh. We got to do all we can to keep them and still don't keep them. Uh -huh. If the word can't keep it, I can't help you. Uh -huh. That word, that word, sweet going down, bitter going down, but all sweet coming up. That word can hurt you sometimes. Uh -huh. Come on now, come on. Amen. Can anybody hear the word that will hurt you sometimes? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That two sword, but, it ain't but you got to speak with it. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh -huh. It helps you. Amen. Yeah. That's the, the best medication you can take tastes nasty. Uh -huh. You don't want it. Uh -huh. But it helps you. This word is what we need to get back to today. All right. Instead of getting folk rich, when they don't get rich, but the person that tell them do. Amen. Mm -hmm. So one preacher with his crop Ferraris and all that stuff, and his great big old mansion. Huh. I don't see why, why a person wants such a big house and it's not a two-bear. So Pride. Show. Pride. Amen. Mm -hmm. I don't make enough of me. Being rich and material things does not make you happy. Amen. That's a bit of some of the most miracle people that live in the Then they, 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 they do what they call sell miracles. 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 Sell crap. Say if you need to, if you got something you need from God, well you give me fifteen hundred dollars, and I'm gonna pray for you, and God gonna deliver you. Well, He's gonna deliver me with my fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. Selling miracles, selling, selling miracles, free to give, free to receive, free to give. My airplanes. Huh. But I guess the people that stupid. Yeah. You know. Hey, <laughs> uh -huh. Amen. You do have some stupid people. Oh, yeah. They follow for a corn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, on um, Facebook, this little cartoon deal said, so run for your lives. There are a lot of stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God will answer my prayer if I talk to him. Uh -huh. You don't got to go to no special person to get healed. All right. He'll do it for you. Uh -huh. You abide in me. My word abide in you. Uh -huh. You shall ask what you will. 
and it shall be done. You know, those that have to run to other people, those that are not trying to give up stuff in their life. Mm -hmm. They just want somebody to do it for them, and they keep on going the way they're going. All right. Ooh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Got me for yourself. Hallelujah.
Uh -huh. I heard. They didn't know I heard. These old ears kick up on rocks. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to push something out. <laughs> when you get pride and get too big for yourself, you destroy it. Mm -hmm. I used to sing in a group. And we got pretty good. Did a recording. Then the guy beside him said, Group Buster. Mm hmm. All right. Pride will kill anything. Mm hmm. Some folks too proud to say, I'm oh, sorry. They look about you and I to Uh huh. Then it's out sorry. All right. Nothing replaces I'm sorry. Amen. Mm -hmm. In fact, look, if you look at it, look what a cry is. You mm -hmm. kind of sit a little over where the pulpit is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're like, well, shoot, I'm making the church, you know, what, what, I'm making the church pop and go, you know. Uh -huh. And it look how it look, though. Amen. When you're up there, that, that probably has a stuff effect on it, too. Yeah, have a spotlight. In fact, one told me the only reason they come in here is for the music. So I do what we want to read on me. All right. You need the word. They're coming for the music. They ain't coming for the word. It ain't giving nothing. Amen. Okay. Swallow that pride and you know, keep me getting kicked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord, that mercy. A lot's been said in this moment. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, sir. Whatever we do in, in church, if we're doing it in, for God and Christ, you got to humble yourself. Amen. I don't need no choir to preach. No, no. Don't need no music to preach. In fact, I don't need no music to sing. Amen.
They were not of us. They didn't believe what we believed. They didn't worship like we worship. They didn't praise like we praise. Mm -hmm. Which means there's not. You ever come to a party and everything in there was jumping and popping? Nobody just sitting around? Mm -hmm. Come on now, y'all. We just sit mm here. -hmm. Man, ways and ways. All right. But you're here. Uh -huh. You need your mind here. All right. We need to learn how to praise Him. Oh, yeah. Stop, stop, stop just sitting there. And then, well, I don't feel. You don't have to feel like it. Do it. The word didn't say whenever you felt like it, praise him. Uh -huh. It said that everything you had is breath.
does you no good to no God for you and do not apply to your life. All right, Secretary Okay. Okay. Our scripture. I know. Oh, our scripture reading. Second Timothy verses fifteen through nineteen. Told present nine. Told offer forty three dollars. First John. First John. Thank you. <laughs> Step All old right. lady out. <laughs> you heard the minutes. What can I hear? Book just says we have been received and adopted. Second. You have been properly motion second that death has been to be received and adopted with the necessary correction. All in favor, let me know by the use of sign out. Opposed, no question, comment, I'll pray for you for morning six. <laughs>
That would hurt me to my heart. It's my job to take care of her. God provides for me. I provide for her. That's the way it's said.
it doesn't look presentable for the world for a man to say that he's hurting. So the majority of men keep it all going in and they're excited for it. And children get the worst of it. Over 90% seeing some type of violence. And over 70% doing self-harm. I can read you stats all day. Half of you in this room still don't understand. But if it was you, you would want someone to come running to your safety. Yes. You would want someone to come running to help. Yeah. But sometimes people don't get that help. Over 3,000 kids per year don't get that chance. Uh -huh. So now that you have this information, are you going to step up and save someone? Okay. And someone take matters into your own hands? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to step down and tell someone to help? Mm -hmm. If neither, just step aside and let those who truly believe in God to right. lead them out of darkness. Right. Only All those right. who step aside want these numbers to grow. All so right. step forward, make a change, and make violence no more. Give him a man. One thing the Bible tells us is that it's going to get worse uh -huh. and worse. Yes, it is. I've been telling this church for years things ain't going to get no better. A man walked away from God. We're on our way down. Yeah, right. Amen. The parents stopped teaching children. Mm. Uh -huh. I remember when I was coming up, we wouldn't ask if we wanted to go to church. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. It was a known fact. When yeah, mama yeah, got yeah. ready, yeah. you better be ready. Yeah. Right. Right. Now we'll leave our children at home. Bring the bill and buy the bread, you're going with me. Amen. You want to do what you want to do, get your own house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And I noticed, now you know we got a long time. Take your time. I saw him in with this young man, did all his killing. Mm. Now he got his parents on trial. All right. All right. They bought the gun. Yeah. In that one case, and people don't think it's going to affect a lot of folks. Because what happens in one place goes to the next. And it behooves us to get a handle on our children. 13 year old boy got no business driving your car at 12 o'clock at night. They're going to start locking up parents Amen. with their children. Amen. Hmm. Huh? Amen. Amen. They're going to have to do something because it's getting worse and worse. Hmm. Look at somebody and say, I love you. Oh God, 
ministry. As we know that Roman deal with the Gentiles.
How many know you're dead by the Spirit? As many as are led by the Spirit. If we're led by the Spirit, then we ought to have more children than we have here today. They ought to be, you ought to be bringing your grandchildren. You ought to stop by and get them sometimes. Uh, still, I don't want to be really fooling with them. No, you need to be led by the Spirit. You're trying to get them to Christ. Right. 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 Sheep forget sheep. Amen. Shepherd don't forget sheep. Pastor, why don't you go get a pastor in a sheep? He's the shepherd. Thank you. 
and maybe somebody like the humble woman by a letter that could preach and speak to you get what you got. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
We all had a storm. Excuse me, but before we dismiss, 
what you were saying about paying attention to your surroundings. When you're driving, be very careful. You got to, you got to be alert, because people have been doing that to me. They'll come from behind me, speed up, jump in front of me, and then hit the brake. You got to be, you got to be watchful when you when you drive and call. People will pull out in front of you. They think, and I'm saying that they doing these things, but they show you how stupid they are. You can kill yourself, and then you all you can kill innocent people. We got to be watchful for everything that's going around us, and, and especially those drivers, because you know they subject to come and just hold a gun up at you and stuff like that. So be careful. Amen. Be careful. Amen. Yeah. Anything yeah, happens where you have to give up your car. Give, give it, it up. up. Give it up. Yeah. 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 Give it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They can have it, though. Yeah. 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 My life is. Insurance will replace it. Yes, sir. Yes. Your life is worth more yes. 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 than some vehicle. Yes, yes. 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 Amen. I wish you to thank you for taking care of us. Thank you, Father. Keeping you. us and watching over us. Thank you right now for all the proportional strength that you've given us. Father, we pray that you will go with us. And everlasting stand by.